Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do an unboxing and a simple review on this Manfrotto 504X Video Fluid Head. Now, I just bought this. This is my first fluid head. This was $400 off of Amazon. I'll put a link to it in the show description notes. It is a flat base and I had to buy a 75 millimeter pan for it. I'm sorry, a 75 millimeter bowl adapter. So I bought the newer. I'll be doing a review of this too, fitted to this fluid head. So the first thing you notice, it comes in a really big box. So my head wasn't the most secure in there. It was kind of just, I mean, it was kind of in the middle. Man, it kind of looked like maybe it had been opened up, but it did have bubble wrap. But this is everything you get. You get the handle this you get a really nice thick instruction manual let's look at the quick release plate it's got two screws in it looks like that's just a little rubber piece and it's held in there that's really nice that we can take these screws out with whichever one we're not using So on the bottom here, it does have a lens, goes this way, it says. This is kind of grippy here. And then it's gonna slide into here. So here's what else that comes, looks like an adapter with an Allen wrench and three Allen screws. Probably to change the size of that opening. And then it comes with a light to, for the, um, level comes with these two little pins i'm pretty sure these are for it showed them going snapping in here oh it's gonna take a little bit to snap those in but the light we just remove this so that the battery will make contact make sure you hold this <laughs> okay so you can't just come up here and pull that you got to kind of press that down and then pull that that way it stays this stays in there if you just pull that that will come up out of there so this should fit in there somehow okay so the light does come on you can turn it on and off by hitting that center thing right there but it will go off. It does time out and go off after so long. And then you can see the bubble. So it kind of lights it from the side. So it looks like a pretty good MVH504XAH. So it's got lots of pictures. It's like it's pretty straightforward. And it does have some words, kind of talks about the counterbalance. Index 1 is for 4.9 pounds. Index 2 is for 9.7 pounds. Index 3 is for 14.3 pounds. So pretty good, pretty good instructions. So here's the handle. One thing I like is the screw. It doesn't come out. So it, it's got something that keeps it, looks like a little O-ring. It keeps it from falling out. That's really nice. It comes, it does not come attached. Looks like you've got this cover. I think it would just pull out. Oh, it's got a screw. So it's got a screw to keep the cover on. <laughs> I didn't break that. So you got to take that little screw out to get the cover off. see a screw on this side but there's how the handle goes on kind of long threads then we can twist it then as we tighten it down so I've got it tight I can't twist this anymore once I've got this tight I can't twist that. 
So that tightens this down and that down. So I'm not a fluid head uh, expert. This is my first fluid head. I, I did a lot of research. Uh, it seems like there's not a lot. Of, there, there are a lot of videos out there on fluid heads. It's just finding the one for you can be kind of tricky. Um, it seems like a, somebody said on one of their uh, videos is there's no perfect tripod or fluid head for everybody. But you just got to kind of pick the things you want. But I am going to be setting this up. I did buy... Um, an image, e-image uh, tripod that looked really nice. It's got these. I'll be doing a review on this. So this tri this uh, uh, head will be going in this tripod. And I'm also going to be mounting my A7, my Sony A7 III to this. And I've got a Sony camcorder, so I'll be showing you that. So that's everything that comes. Again, you've got these two of these things. I've got to snap that one in there. So let's take a look. This is 3 8 That's the store, that 3 8 screw. Um, this is the detents. There's zero. You can kind of see where the red is. That lines up with zero. So now I can move this anywhere. And it, that's the counterbalance. There's one. I don't have to pull this out or anything. It just you just turn it, but it does have a detent, and it's really it really springs back. Like when I move it, it just springs back. That's that counterbalance. It's a little bit slower, a little, not as stiff. Here's what the bottom looks like. That's the part that turns. And when you lock it, that's what locks. Over here, we've got that locks the head. This is our fluid adjustment. So that's infinite. There's no clicks or anything. Really stiff. That's not as stiff. There's hardly any resistance on there. I think that, yeah, this is our fluid resistance with, with this. Yeah, that becomes really hard to turn. So this will be easier to check out once I get it on the tripod. Here's what the front of it looks like. button so yeah I got the arrow pointed the lens So I took the 3 8 screw and I'm just going to screw it in here. That's like a storage for it. It does screw down nice and tight to where it will stay. And I've got my quarter 20 in here. Again, you just open that up. Okay, so one thing I'm noticing is this thing is getting stuck. And it might be something I'm doing. But it's not coming out all the time. Because it was kind of confusing. So there it came out, and then when I lock this, that comes out, and then when I loosen it, that kind of retracts it a little bit. I can slide it, I can't take it out until I press this button. Okay, so I guess that doesn't pop out until you push down on that. Okay, that makes sense now. That locks it, okay. Yeah, that's pretty nice. So then when I, so then when I open it, it's always open. 
so I don't have to push a button to insert this. I don't have to push a button. Then when I when I push down, that thing comes out. Now I can use this and lock it. Okay, that's very well done. I like that. Okay, so let's open up this 75 millimeter half ball that I'm going to put on the bottom of it. Okay, so it comes with a pretty nice user manual. It shows you how to, to install it. Three and four. It looks like it comes with a quarter screw and a three-eighths screw and a hexagonal wrench. Okay. You got screw A and screw B. So I really like the design of this. See how that's like cut out in there? That's going to hold that. I'm not sure what all of these other th threads are for. Again, this is the big... This thread's on really nice. This seems really nice, really well made. This seems like metal. And when it came, this was loose. I'm not sure I'll have to tighten that down. Again, it came with this wrench. Got two screws here. And then this big, big one that you can replace probably that one with or something. I'm not sure. But the main thing is it screws on to the bottom of this fluid head. And when I tighten this, well, I gotta lock, make sure I lock that. So I can tighten that. All right. I'm gonna make sure and tighten this too. Okay, so I did put a wrench on that just a little bit, just to kind of snug it down. And here's my, this is what I'm gonna be tightening it with. Yeah. I will be doing a separate video on this tripod, but. So there it is. And then we're gonna come down and put our locking. So I wanna make sure it's level. The bubbles pretty easy to see. I got I'm, I'm looking at the bubble right here. I do have some fine adjustments, and then I can. I do wish that was a little taller. I, I do see why now they make them tall. They make them longer. That that is a little tight, but not too bad. It's up here by the where the arms come out. So if it was a little longer, it might be easier. But that's okay. So here I've got the Sony a7 III with the 200 to 600. This is a really, really heavy lens. The 200 to 600 lens. So I see now this comes with that bigger uh, screw. It comes with both of them, but I can see why you might want to use the bigger screw on the, this is a big, heavy lens. Okay, so I'm gonna screw the bottom of that into it. Again, it's got this thing that says lens. I'll try using the smaller one. I'm going to tighten it down just a little bit with a quarter. Now it does want to, I've got that tight, and it does want to turn on there a little bit. So that might be what that pin is for, is to go right there. And when I've got the bigger screw in, when I've got that screwed in, that pinhole does line up. So let's try that. Let's take out the smaller screw. Put the bigger one in. And then I've got these two little pins. These, these are plastic. Okay, now I've got the bigger screw in. And that hole, I've got that poked in, that little plastic thing. And it fits right there. And yeah. Let's see how this does. Let's tighten this down. So yeah, that does help. That does help it from moving. But it does put it pretty far forward. 
this. Okay, so something I did like about this, this was like one-handed, this quick release. So I got it on there. It's got stops built in so the camera won't fall off. That's a really, really heavy camera. I've got this setting on one. I've got it all the way. That's, that's a pretty, so I'm gonna have to put this back. So even on the, the tightest setting, it seems like it doesn't want to bring it back to neutral. That must be, that must be a really, really heavy lens and camera. I thought it was going to work. Okay, so this, again, I'm not a fluid head expert, but man, this thing, it feels nice. But again, when it's on this, I've got it all the way to the three, even with this big, heavy lens. Um, it does kind of point down. Now I've got everything loosened up all the way. I really like it is very smooth. Wow. I don't the only this is definitely the smoothest. I mean it's just like butter. And then I can I can make it stiffer. I gotta hold this part and, and turn that part. That's a little hard to do one-handed. And turning this is kind of it's kind of stiff, but that'll slow down the left to right. Now, I find myself reaching for this, but that's the lock. When I want to lock it, then I can't move it, but, but I'll, I'll figure it out. This is what you want to turn, and I can hear like grease in there, but that's what slows this down. But man, it feels nice. Now that's pretty stiff. I don't, you know, the only way, the only thing I might get some jitter in is going up and down. That's, not, that's this, that going up and down is not as smooth as this is super smooth. I mean, it's just, it's just like free wheels. But you know, this one might be because of the counterbalance. So if I take a little bit of the counterbalance off, yeah, that really helps if the counterbalance is not so stiff. But there again, is it gonna stay where I want it to? Yeah, sometimes it does. Sometimes, like if you get it over center, it stays. I got a lot to learn with fluid heads, but this thing looks really nice, I like it. Again, I'll put a description or a link in the show notes for this and that 75 millimeter bowl head. And to the, I'll, my next video is going to be on this tripod itself. It, at first, it looks really nice, but I'll play with it around on the next video. Thanks everybody for watching. And if you could, please like and subscribe.